Nickel-hydrogen-based batteries that have long been used by NASA for its space missions are now making their way to power the grid. California-based Enervenue is building large energy storage vessels, ESVs, that could be used to power the grid using renewables, a press release said. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, thank you for subscribing and supporting EVs Queen, if you already haven't, hit that subscribe button. Your support would mean the world to us, check out our other videos. With the world making a major transition to renewables, energy storage solutions are the need of the hour. Lithium-ion batteries have been our best bet so far, but making large-scale storage solutions is turning out quite expensive and cumbersome. Li-ion batteries are prone to thermal runaway and large energy storage solutions need additional facilities for cooling, ventilation, and fire suppression to be built to prevent a major mishap. This is where nickel-hydrogen-based batteries could help. A nickel-hydrogen battery is much like any other battery with stacks of electrodes but held inside a pressurized gas tank. The cathode is made of nickel hydroxide, while the anode is hydrogen. When the battery is charged, the reaction produces hydrogen gas, which is oxidized during the discharging process to form water. The energy storing process, which involves the production of highly combustible hydrogen gas and a pressurized tank to contain it, raises doubts. However, the peak pressure inside the tank reaches only 5% of that in a hydrogen fuel cell. Moreover, if the pressure of the gas increases further, it results in the conversion of the gas into water again. NASA has extensively used this technology for batteries on the International Space Station ISS. The technology that was developed in the 1970s used expensive platinum catalysts, but in 2020, Yi Chui, a professor of materials science and engineering at Stanford, found an inexpensive alternative using nickel molybdenum cobalt alloy. Chui's invention led to the incorporation of Enervenue, where he works as the chief technology officer. The company is looking at using the technology to power the grid as renewables become more mainstream. The battery pack consists of 6-foot-long and 6-inch wide tanks, dubbed ESVs, and capable of storing 3 kilowatt hour of energy. Unlike lithium-ion based energy storage solutions, ESVs can work across a wide temperature range of minus 40 Fahrenheit, minus 40 degrees Celsius, to 140 Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius, and do not require the extra paraphernalia to keep it from blowing up. Cost-wise, the manufacture of nickel-hydrogen batteries is currently more expensive than lithium-ion ones. Additionally, the energy storage density of lithium-ion is the best we have achieved to date. This means a larger number of nickel-hydrogen batteries would be required to get the same output as Li-ion. Where nickel-hydrogen handsomely beats lithium-ion is the 30,000 charge cycles, which ensure that the battery can last up to 30 years. The company estimates that the batteries will retain 86% capacity after these cycles, too. Enervenue is now building a gigafactory in Kentucky to scale up production and reduce its costs. Once operational, the facility is expected to supply 5 GWh of batteries every year and will reach its peak at 20 GWh. Nickel-hydrogen batteries are currently deployed in small-scale pilot systems and now need to demonstrate their value at a larger scale before they can dethrone lithium-ion. Thanks for watching, have a great day.